Hey, ladies and jelly molds, welcome back to. Oh, I didn't. I didn't get a uh, <laughs> stupid uh, name ready. It's Atelier Riza, the Return of Robocop on the series JG. And I'm Lethal Feline. Apologize if we already used the Return of Robocop. Robocop. This could be Robocop returning yet again, if that's the case. Um. So last time we wrapped up a little session, Lethal Feline and I, and uh, in the intervening time. I did get on and do a little bit of uh, running around off screen, but the main issue I ran into is that when I was in town trying to just go to interesting places to get ingredients, hoping perhaps to purchase better armor or even alchemically create better armor before fighting a boss again, I kept running into like content. Like the story has things that will lead to dialogue other than us going to what is next? So I thought maybe Sailor Moon Run. We would just like walk around the village and see uh, see what there is to see, rather than being too obsessive about our young heroes actually dealing with the palette swapped but far nastier than normal stone golem guys. Probably for the best. Well, we'll see. We may not be that far away from beating those guys because. Uh, I believe it was uh, critical for me to do a better job of arming the party. And uh, we may, in fact, like, everybody's got now a healing item. What I what I didn't figure out off screen, which is possible, is switching who I'm controlling. <laughs> I didn't bother to get that sorted. And everyone doesn't have healing items because Lent only gets one inventory slot. So never mind. Well, it's not like he needs to have one of those... <laughs> Explosive Uni. He's already explosive enough. He's actually the one who's the most uh, handicapped against these guys. They are really not at all concerned with physical damage, and he is our physical damage powerhouse. So. Mm -hmm. But I think we can probably uh, avoid that and instead just enjoy town life and uh, randomly getting hit with story content every time I tried to go around outside of this one screen, picking up shit. How dare the game actually have interactions that are yeah. interesting. I'm here for tedium. It's like, I, I, I'm i here to grind. I, I had no interest in, like, things happening in the game. What the hell? I did not consent to these interactions, and yet they are happening. This is Tao's house, and over here is... Huh? Woo! I'm Ric Flair. Woo! <laughs> Your impression could do some work. <laughs> hey, Yolent. How you doing? Woo! I'm styling up profile, and here come some hot ladies for that Lent drip. Woo! Hey, you two. Taking a tour of the area? Yes, I asked the Rizza to show me around town. What are you doing, Lent? You're covered in sweat. It's making me feel funny down there. Oh, I've just been practicing with my sword. Figured it was time for a quick break. This, by the way, is not one of these several scenes that popped up when I was walking around. So there's even more story than I realized there could possibly be. Fantastic. I'm glad there's even surprises for you still. Yes. Yeah, this meathead just goes around swinging his sword every day, every night, and everywhere in between. Not that I don't respect good sword swinging. Yeah, I mean, I call him a meathead, but uh, I totally respect. You sure don't sound like you respect it. That's what training is. Repeating the same lessons over and over and expecting a different result. That may, in fact, be insanity. I, I might have confused those two things. Or he might be training up the muscles needed for swinging the sword. It's, it's but... good, it could be. Repeating the same actions and expecting a different result, I guess makes sense if that action is training your body physically. <laughs> That's right. Practice is all about building yourself up day after day, little by little. But why do you practice near Tao's home? Oh, well. So basically, I'm just able to concentrate better here. You know, I'm not distracted by that glowing tree over to uh, my right. The years I brought that up. <laughs> the years nice and fresh, and I love the view. It's the perfect spot. 
Yeah, that's definitely true. The golden tree would put me at ease too. I guess it's the perfect spice for the train and do whatever else you need to do. Uh, I suppose that makes sense. Okay, break's over. Time to get back to my training. Do you mind if we watch for a bit? I'm curious what your training looks like. And like I said, it's making me feel funny downstairs how you're all sweaty. Uh, I'm sure. It's not like it's a big secret, so I guess I don't mind. Look at you getting all embarrassed. Don't hurt yourself trying to show up. Uh, I don't plan to. That was the day we went to the ER, or he just was replaced with a uh, with Tao. <laughs> Tao also exists. I'm starting to pick out more individual words in my books. It seems like our library is a real treasure trove. Good for you, old buddy. Anyway, I'm gonna hit your golden tree now, probably. Sorry, I got a. Uh... Forgot what button does what I wanted to chop him with an axe and uh I'm sorry, I don't have any resources in me, the Rizza. I guess I could give you some uni, but I'd rather you didn't use an axe to you know get them. Wait, in what way is this Tao's house? <laughs> Maybe that's why we're doing it near Tao's house. Oh well. I think his I guess house is, is that house. one right yes, there. This would be Tao's house. Come on to Tao's house and Tao's house. He wants to give you candy. It's actually a nicer house than the Rizzas. Which hey. I, don't know, I don't know how much that's saying, really. We're not some affluent like Bookhaven family. We are a humble group of um, tomato farmers. Yeah. Kirk and fruit farmers. That's what they are. Kirk and fruits. More nameless grass. That grass. If only we could get the name brand grass in here. That grass will die nameless. It's like, uh, what is it, like America's Choice or uh, <laughs> you know, the, the Walmart Superstore brand grass. Oh, Great Value Grass. Great Value Grass. Or, uh, remember the, one of the local, um, back when I was in upstate New York, the local... Uh, it might not have been them. But there was a local brand of, uh, you know, they had their different names for sodas. Like, their Mountain Dew was called, like, Mountain Rush or whatever. Uh, they had a Dr. Pepper that was called Dr. Perky. <laughs> which, mm. I don't know why I like that so much. Heavily caffeinated Diet Dr. Pepper. May I hope so. It's your trucker's Dr. Pepper. <laughs> well, the truckers would like to buy the, the Mountain Rush bottle just so they could empty it and pee in it. And it would be obvious to anyone visiting their truck. Hey, sometimes you gotta do that. I know whenever I'm out in the kayak on a lake, I do that. Because you just gotta go. I can't just throw it over the side as long as it is. The goats look at Lethal disapprovingly. Claudia, well, this isn't a dull island. Just the way... It's like, let's try that again. Isn't this dull island just way too boring for someone from the big city like you? So much better than I screw you. I'm the daughter of a caravan leader. It's not like I've lived in an especially sheltered life. Wait, it's not like I've lived in a especially sheltered life? Question mark. I guess, but you seem so classy compared to us. I guess your dad worked hard to raise you like that, he says, while... Well, Picking his teeth with, uh, you know, a hayseed or something. Like, I don't know how rustic they're meant to be. Hey, Tao. Fish your work for the day. You're such a hard worker. Now you can just hang out with all these goats, which are clearly female. Um, yeah, I suppose they are. <laughs> that doesn't mean much coming for someone who works as little as you. <laughs> wow, oh, that, nice dogs. So what are you two up to? Oh, Claudia just said she wanted to check out the rest of the island, so I'm showing her around. I see. But there isn't really anything to see here except a bunch of clearly female goats. Oh, well, that one's clearly male. Oh, crap, is he male. Perhaps, but the view here is so lovely. And all these interesting ruins, I'm quite jealous. 
Try living here your entire life. The shine wears off pretty quick. Jesus Christ, Tao. <laughs> Cheer the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, we're basically stuck on this island. Personally, I'm just meeting one from the mainland. So, so apropos of nothing, like what drew my attention to the series of game even existing is that Romance of the Three Kingdom 14 had like their portrait says people who could appear in your game. So I, for fun, I threw in all the random portraits they had. And so these characters all showed up at various points as officers. And Tao was the one who was consistently a pain in my ass. <laughs> So I was curious, like, oh, I wonder what I'm going to make of Tao when I actually play this game. He is by far the most irritating of these people. <laughs> well, I guess the grass is always greener, as they say. Uh, I guess it is pretty green. So you'll be here, here a while, right? I figured the caravan wouldn't want to stay too long. What, are you eager for to leave or something? We just made a new friend for once in forever. That's not what I meant. I'm just curious what the caravan is all about. Our caravan is a little different. Father is focused on building trade routes, not selling goods directly. There's a lot involved with that, and his partner is far away in the capital. So it'll probably take a while. So you'll be staying here for this for the foreseeable future, huh? That's right. Father says I should plan to be here for quite some time. I think he's considering abandoning me here. Then I'll show you around even more, I guess. Maybe I'll take you on an adventure. We've been making a habit of doing that lately. But it might be too dangerous. An adventure would be nice. Huh? Oh man, maybe you could just replace me permanently in the party. Yeah, I knew there was more to you than just some fancy sheltered rich girl. Fade to black. And that's where it ends. Well, tune in next time for... Oh, never mind. We're still... Ghost goats. You shouldn't wander up like that, the troublesome goat. A goat is huge, or she's just very tiny. Could be a little of column A and a little column B. What if you do a scythe instead of an axe? We get tough finds and flammable bark. Like, I, I have captured the game mechanic even if it doesn't make sense to me. It's like, the same thing could be hit with an axe or a scythe and produce different... Uh, Oh, in this case, it cannot be hit by. Uh... And hitting it with both is just out of the question. Yeah, you couldn't you couldn't split the difference or anything. Or you couldn't get both kinds of resources from the same thing. Mm. It would die. Well, there's only so many item drops you're gonna get. It's just a matter of which item drop it will be. Yes. This is obnoxious having the change between the tools, though. I can choose which one I like more. <laughs> All right, the tree needs to recuperate from the abuse. Yes, yeah. the, the hologram tree is there to indicate where the tree will be after it grows back. Of course, you can't harvest the wool or the wolves, the the goats. The goats. Well, that you know, like we're picking, we're picking, uh, you know tomato vegas off of our dad's own farm but like i feel like we can't just go stealing uh goat meat <laughs> or uh goat wool if that exists and uh goat milk it does in fact exist yeah. uh cashmere that i'm sure you've heard of is from goats that's one of my favorite songs yes they they spend a lot of time practicing for that song mm -hmm. So my intent was not to do an entire uh, video of just this nonsense on screen. I was thinking stuff was going to pop. So maybe what I can do is uh, head for... You can only, you can only get four. goat's milk if it's in a barrel already. Yep. So I was saying, well, we can't just steal it. It's not ours. But, you know, we can just steal it. It's just that we can't steal it from... Um... <laughs> from the teats? From the teats okay. directly, yes. 
That would be too tedious. Oh, not playable. <laughs> ah, and I do remember this one. Rizza, the drought will be here soon, as it always is, and we need to harvest all of our wheat before it does. Dad, I served you to call me the Rizza. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, the Rizza. She's going through a phase. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know. So, uh, hey, oh, hey, Claudia. Yeah, they actually named her the Rizza, spelled with R I Z A, and she's being all rebellious and insisting her my name is spelled with a Y. Actually, her name was originally Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, the Rizza, out and about with your father. Wait, weren't we just together? <laughs> yeah, I kind of, we kind of were, but now I'm helping him shopping, okay? What are you up to? Same thing, actually. I am also helping your father with the shopping. We're still not completely familiar with all the shops around here. Oh, one of them. Oh, well, then why don't you join us? There's a good chance for you to get to know, you know, the island a little better. Much appreciated, Mr. Stout. So you're on a farm. The impending drought must be making things difficult. Uh, yes, you ridiculous man. It certainly is. There are not really, there's not really anything we can do about a drought, of course. This is when we farmers, uh, you know, have to work our hardest. And you've got your daughter to help. My Claudia is quite shy, so I'm glad they're getting along. <laughs> Actually, I got lucky. Normally, the Rizza is nowhere to be found, but Claudia seems pretty fond of her. Isn't this the first time her dad has ever seen Claudia? Oh, who knows. The months are so boring. I wish they could find something more interesting to talk about, don't you? Like Pokemans. Yeah, their conversation is kind of... dots. The Rizza is so energetic. Compared to her, my Claudia is quite timid. Maybe Claudia... Well, I mean, but Claudia seems very intelligent, unlike the Rizza. I mean, uh, she must make you feel more at ease as a parent. Yeah, but they're being kind of... Hmm. Oh, whoa, who is this fellow? I think I I did have a voice for the this. The mayor, yeah. He was voiced like this, that's right. Yeah. You shouldn't stand around the sun like this. You can't just go... You can't go for a slim swim later when we were kids. Wait, what does that say? You can't go for a swim later like when we were kids. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can't go for a swim later like when we were kids. <laughs> I think part of the reason that sentence wasn't coming to you is because it doesn't make a whole hell of a lot of sense. <laughs> it sure doesn't. And I, I do have some whiskey, but I don't think it was enough to make me that stupid. <laughs> well, I mean, you can always go swimming in whiskey later. No, that'd probably be bad. There it goes, talking down to people as usual. He's kind of a dick. Hello there, Mr. Vroden. As a matter of fact, we were just discussing our children. Oh, you know... Just recently, my son defeated that boy Lumba for the tenth time in a row. Making it really not that impressive. <laughs> I understand Boss is as good fighter as he is a student. The silent children are all so lively. Except for my daughter. She's so horrible disappointed to me. But none of them compare to Claudia when it comes to knowledge of the outside world. Everyone's a bumpkin here, including me and Moritz and, of course, the Rizzo. Well, rumor has it, your daughter knows something of the forest outside of this island. Take it back! Take it back! <laughs> Listen, sir, we are on friendly terms, but we will not be known as anything other than Pussy Village. They keep praising each other's kids, but I think they're just bragging about their own in a roundabout way. She's actually pretty perceptive. I guess it should make me happy, but I just hate how indirect adults can be. Yeah. Well, I'm certainly glad we had that conversation. That 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 taught us a lot. I feel like my life is richer. There's a question mark up here. What could it be? Could it be a quest? Whoa. That kid's glowing. I feel like we could hit him with a scythe to get resources. I know. That I'm trying to think of a voice right now. Oh, you got one? I was just Go going to launch into something. They're like, okay, that should do it. Thanks, Doc! Oh, 
was just this doctor man again. Hi there, Reza. You're not injured, I hope. Oh, no, no. I'm just passing by. You should be keeping busy, though. Oh, yes, indeed. It's been a very busy day here today. Actually, on that topic, I'm in a bit of a bind. Oh, really? What's the matter? Well, I'm running low on a few medical ingredients. The sort of things you could easily create through alchemy if only you were an alchemist. I usually get a regular delivery from one of our traveling merchants, but the latest delivery hasn't arrived. Oh, is there like, you know, a freak snowstorm or something? Anyway, I could go gather up everything you need. I do appreciate that, but are you sure you know exactly what can be used in medicine? Or perhaps you were waiting for me to tell you what I need. That would be logical. Well, I use a lot of the same things for my alchemy that I'm doing nowadays. So I think I've got a pretty good handle of it. Do so I can assume that what you need are in fact some sides and a pooty ball? How about some nameless grass? And you're not going to be in any danger yourself out there. Uh, don't worry about that. I mean, I know a safe place to get what I need. I know a guy. I see, then, if it's really no trouble. No, no, I'll be back before you know it. I probably have what you need already. Okay, well, thanks for not finding out what it is I wanted. All right, so Bowden District Edward wants uh, medicinal quantity quality over 30. He is only doctor on the island and he needs some medical supplies. I hope I can get it for him. So it says 22 slash 3. <laughs> I'm not so, sure if he wants three or if he wants 22 in this particular case. Right. And when it says 22 over, does that mean like we're, we're talking like seven and one third or is it like European rules and it's it's like March 2022? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Yes. Have it by this time. Apparently we do have it. Yeah. It looks like medicinal herbs might be... Uh, it's not telling us, but I'm thinking perhaps there's a broad category of stuff that are all considered medicinal herbs. Yeah, whatever is, you know, regulated as medicinal, we can give it to them. Well, yeah, so, like, we can we can get, like, some uh, low-dose gummies <laughs> or something. I mean, we have had Tao popping up and saying, like, these medicinal herbs are whatever, whatever, uh, randomly. So, I guess anything that could spawn that kind of dialogue. But we, I think we got this quest. Let's do it. If you got yourself hurt or sick, come see me. Okay. Let me, here you go. Confirm. Report. Okay. Well, there it is. Do I just so get to we... pick which ones I want to give him? Is that what this is? The health flowers are definitely over 30. Okay, so what I probably want to do is give him... The shittiest things that will satisfy the quest. <laughs> I was gonna say, can we give him tomatoes? We can give him tomatoes. Medicinal tomatoes. I feel like the thing to do would give him one tomato and two of these flowers because the, uh... Sounds good. Oh. I'm way overthinking this, but that should do it. Complete. Hey, Doc, gather up all the medicinal tomatoes you need. Wow, a tomato. Thanks. I mean, wow, thank you. Let me take a look here. Hmm, you're right. Everything here can be good to good use, including that one flower or two flowers and the tomato. Glad I could help. With this, I will be able to come up with the cure for Parkinson's. Thank you so much. With this, I would be able to make the world's first medicinal pizza sauce. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you ever find out what happened to that delivery? You have the tracking number, right? <laughs> oh, it looked like there was some kind of mistake and it got put on hold. They sent me a letter of apology, which I have turned into a powerful poultice. I still have no idea when it might arrive, though, so I'm really thankful to you for taking care of this. No, it's my pleasure. I just... If I can help with anything else, just don't hesitate to ask. That's very reassuring, but I really hope you're not putting yourself at risk for this. 
Definitely no, it's just in my pockets. I just wow. handed it to you. She looks blown away by the idea that she might have been at risk. I am never at risk. Probably knows exactly where I had to go to get those ingredients, like those tomatoes. Oh, she's shocked at his his knowledge of her technique or something. Well, the alchemy has something to do with it. Oh. Yeah, she just flat out told him, hey, I'm an alchemist. And, uh... Mm -hmm. I didn't even get a chance to switch, uh... Swinging Whoppets, because I got a twofer. Now, what's these guys? Boss, I guess there's nothing left to say. My, hey. my boss is a Jewish carpenter. Who's well, also my dad. <laughs> yeah, do, do you know, when well, we are, like, we're, uh... She's Rosalind Stout. Like, yeah, I guess you guys didn't know Stout's a Jewish name, so, uh... There you go. Dad got himself drunk again. I don't want to go home till he's passed out. Also, I'm apparently not, uh... Practicing anymore. Oh, it's another... Qu oh, there's quests all over! Suddenly it's a whole world full of quests. Yes, helping the doctors just unleash the floodgates. I think I did this voice before. Oh, hello, Rizza. Oh, hey, Barbara. Hey, are you, you're looking kind of flushed. This is perfect. I'm going to get myself a drink while you do this. Sure. I just came out to do some grocery shopping, but my feet are killing me. I think we've had this dialogue before. My feet started Literally. killing me. They've got a knife. <laughs> I say, maybe, Edward, maybe I should go get some medicinal tomatoes from Edward. He's only got one. It's so sad when you notice how your body doesn't work the way it used to. Topical sentence for this particular, you know, let's play a duo. Yeah, yeah th thanks, thanks, Barbara. <laughs> thanks for bringing that one home. Hmm. I really just miss having even the little things to look forward to. Yes, I was looking at a delicious pizza today, Barbara, and I felt the same way. With medicinal tomato. Hey, I know. Use an agent could be the answer. <laughs> Barbara, I'm gonna make you my own special medicine. What? You're going to make me into medicine? How dare you? Oh. Where did you learn how to make medicine? Did you, do you have a diploma? Do you have a certification? She went to medical. She went to medical school in Barbados. Well, technically, I'm still learning, but I'm sure I can make something that maybe works. I got these crystals, and I'm going to arrange them so that they put positive energy into your body. Oh, you think so? Well, thank you very much. I'll, I'm looking forward to it. What's the point of learning alchemy if I can't use it to help out this rat? That's a nice thought. I was putting my hands on my hip for that hips for that line too. Blessing uh -huh. ointment. Barbara has chronic leg pain. It can't move too well. Can I make medicine to help her? So we don't have that one. She's gonna give us a bolt wind earring for that. Mm -hmm. Quality fifty. Love how we use a barter system in this town, even though we have currency. Yeah, when they say quality 50, they're actually measuring in Canadian, Canadian dollars, so just bear, bear that in mind. <laughs> in Canadian quality, mm -hmm. got it. So it's a quality, so they have this U that's added in there. <laughs> anyway. Wait a minute, there's already... Wait a second. <laughs> it's Q-U-U-A. Alright, folks. Well, I mean, yeah, we've, we've now opened the world of side quests. Where could that lead us to next time? You're just going to have to tune in to find out. Bye-bye.